Hey everyone, this is Michael from Design to Deceive. I'm going to tie a um, really effective and easy to tie pattern called the CDC and Elk. This fly was developed by Hans Weilman from the, of the Netherlands uh, several years ago, and it's a really effective caddis pattern that's easy to tie. Um, really looks like an emerging insect. Um, the CDC, the longer fibers especially, give it that uh, emergence. Um, appearance in the water and uh, I've caught some really nice fish over the last years on this pattern and it's really easy to tie you can crank out a dozen in in no time it's about a four minute tie when you're you know you're cranking through and you have everything kind of organized and you just um, and you just go right through it so I'm going to show you how to, how to do it it's it's pretty easy there's a couple of little tips um, it's only two materials besides the hook and the and the thread, and that's a CDC feather, and a uh, piece of um, short, fine deer hair with um, nice black tips. So in the in the vise right now is a Tiemco 102Y in a size 15, which is basically a 16. This is the original uh, hook that the fly was tied on, and um, it's a great hook. Another um, good choice is a number 16 Diariki 305 but you can you really can tie it on any any dry foot uh, dry uh, fly hook that you prefer so first thing you can do I'm using some 8 dot uh, I'm sorry 6 dot uh, dark brown uni I usually use 8 dot but on on this fly uh, just because I'm tying down some deer hair I like a little bit of a more of a stout thread so you're gonna start right behind the eye and just take it back down to the bend where I'll cut my waist and get ready to put the CDC in. Alright, so for this pattern I'm using a uh, like a light tan, this is a natural, it's not a dyed CDC feather but as you notice, I'll put it by the way the, the jaws of the hook uh, of the vise are, so you can see it's got a nice rounded tip if you look through your bag of CDC feathers you'll see all different shapes um, or you'll see the longer ones, kind of pointy tips that are kinda straight, you want the nice rounded tips for this pattern and what we're gonna do is you're just gonna stroke all the feather pull the fibers up and make a nice little we have a nice little tuft just like that and we're going to do a little pinch wrap one two over the top the third one goes under above the hook shank and under the fibers and the fourth one goes right over them to lock everything down because it is pretty slippery and this way it won't slip out you can just spiral the thread up to the hook eye you're going to take a hackle plier and without twisting you're just going to wrap it all the way up the hook shank And once you get to the middle of the hook shank, right about here, you have all those longer fibers. You're just going to stroke them all back as you wrap. Stroke them all back. Let's get to the hook eye. I put two wraps right around it. And I'll hold a little tension while I release the hackle pliers. Then I'll take one more tight wrap. And I will cut the tip close. And I'll take one more nice wrap to lock everything in. 
And there's the body of your fly right there. You can see if I push the fibers up that it looks dubbed and then it has this shaggy appearance with all the longer fibers. So now the last step is deer hair. Short, fine deer hair. You don't have to use a lot. Early season, preferable. And the reason that is it has less underfur. Grab a little clump. That's plenty. I like to spread open the fibers. I twist them, I spread them open, and to get the underfur, any of the shorties out, there's a lot of. a little bit of fur under here. You want to clean it nice because if you don't, what will happen when you st when you uh, put it in the hair stack or the tips want to line is the tips want to line as as nice as they would if it was a clean piece of hair. So you always want to clean the hair. You can't over clean it. If there's something you don't like, you know you can stack it a million times. So you know you'll get used to uh, you know you'll know exactly when everything's clean. You know, but don't feel if you if you stack it doesn't come out the way you like take it out clean it again and stack it again and um, another tip is to take a little bit more than you need at first because what will happen is once you clean it sometimes you can lose up to a third of the hair because of, of, of under fur and shorts and directional hair all pop out so you have a lot less than what you started with originally so that this hair is uh, clean. I'm going to put in the stacker. Tips first. All right. See everything's lined up nice. And what I want to do here is I want this to line up um, basically right to the back of the of the hook bend, not further. So I'm going to take my measurement. And once I have that measurement in my hand, which is right here, I'm going to cut right at my fingertips, leaving about you know a half a millimeter or so right in front of my nail. A nice clean cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this piece right here to the very end of the hook eye just like that and I'm going to wrap once and pull up and twice and pull up nice and tight. The third one is going to go diagonally through the hair. I'm going to pull down nice. And the fourth is going to go underneath. What you can do now is just pull up the butts and go right underneath the hair around the hook shank, right around the eye. And I'll make another wrap. Now I'm going to take my whip finisher, or you can hand whip finish, if you'd like. Get it right underneath. Two. Three turn whip. And always make sure you set that knot. A little tension. And that's it. As you can see, the hair is nice on top. It's, it's not underneath. Good look. 
anything, anything sticking out, trim it off. And that's the CDC and elk. The fibers really in the water really make it seem like it's an emerging insect. Um, you know, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, you know, the fibers are, are a little long, but that's, you want that because it really gives it that appearance of, of, of a gas bubble, in my opinion. And if you look closer, you can see that it looks like a dubbed body. It's all just that CDC feather wrapped around it. it floats very well, and, um, and I've caught lots of nice browns on this fly um, in caddis hatches, in where caddis and mayflies are both hatching. They've preferred this. Um, because again, I think it looks like an emerger, so it's like putting an emerging caddis on. So again, CDC and elk, quick tie. Once you uh, get cranking, you can do a dozen of these in no time. And good luck, and thanks Hans for an amazing pattern. Definitely should have a bunch of these in your box. Thanks.